Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from all colors, races, and places, it is I, the Great Lemon. Welcome back to Army Men of the Vietnam War, or Army Men of Vietnam. In our last episode, we uh, saw Sarge manage to survive this monstrosity of an explosion. I'm still working on the other side of the map, so uh, you guys are going to have to wait there. But if you just want to skip this whole map sequence and just jump into the intro battle, you can. There are timestamps on the YouTube loading bar and in the description, so please, 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 by all means, if you're not interested in any of this, you can just, like, move your mouse and click. In our last episode for this world map, we saw our heroes barely making an escape back across the bridge as the bridge blew up in quite a amazing and crazy battle. Um, we've discovered that Sarge is still alive on the other side with the blues and the reds. Um, that's going to take some time to make, but he is right over here. There he is. Grim is back. He's in the headquarters at uh, the Great Dam. Unaware to these greens, uh, a jam the Tans have set up a jammer, and with that jammer comes destruction, the real cause of everything. Field Marshal Tanningberg and Captain Tan here um, are sieging greenhouse. They pushed through most of the green defenses, cleared out the way, and now the main army is here. The Tans have been preparing for this for a very long time. Um, as we speak right now, the greens have managed to close this garage door, but this garage door is slightly open. Ooh, lightning! Tanningberg and his forces will try and push into this garage here. Of course, there's nothing in here. Uh, maybe I can like work in here and try to make it all nice and snazzy. But the garage basically goes from here to here. Can the tans? Well, no, I'm not gonna even say that. Can the greens with our other heroes, Blade, Mailman, uh, Axe, last guy. Um, the other medic and a couple other new heroes managed to basically hold off the tans long enough that the other greens catch on. They've sent out a, um, a person who's kind of coming around the back here taking this very long way in order to reach uh, General Grimm and his army and to say hey the house is being taken over come and help. So, we will see. We will see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I think it's time that we jumped into the battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ooh. Man, oh man, I am tired. It's been a long, long week at uh, work, but we're still working off. Oh yeah, Tanningrad, we still gotta have that battle too. Anyway, lightning comes thunder. Bring the thunder, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, so good to be out in the open. Thank you again, heroes of Bravo Company. You've made an old man proud, but those ten still have my daughter. We must rescue her. And we must make a search rescue for Sarge. I need to know if he's still alive. Sir! Vehicle approaching at high speeds! Oh my. Wait, hold on a second. Captain Green? General Grimm! Thank God you're still alive. Sir, you missed a lot. It's the Tans. They're attacking the house. The Greens managed to close one of the garage doors, but the other one seems to be jammed. They've set it up that they can 
filter us through. If we continue our shelling on both the garage door and shelling into the garage, I still think we can do this. All right, hold on a second. I get it, you're the general, and you're great at planning and all, but if you haven't noticed, we do not have the manpower for this. Have you not been keeping up to date with the reports? To hell with the reports, Tanningberg. You would need hundreds, no, thousands of men in order to take this house from the Greens. <laughs> Ten. Tanningburg, there is no such number in the plastic arms. Well, go have a look yourself. There is absolutely no way there are any. I plan on taking this out. Nobody. Stuff's already going to start popping off. Um, the Greens have a um, major defense here. We have our heroes over here. Good old Blade over here rocking the, the, the big old uh, custom um, M16 with a grenade launcher. Uh, we have Mailman, Hoover, uh, Axe. So this will definitely be a crazy battle. As you can see, the greens are all ready, ready to go. They have a new anti-air unit because, you know, the, and, uh, <laughs> it's very deadly and we might see it in action. Okay, I think I'm gonna actually try out the, the new AA gun here, so let me... That, look at this thing. Okay, so... Oh god! Shoot it down! Oh! Shoot it down! Nailed ya! Oh god, here they come! Open fire grenades! Oh my god. Slow mo, please! Here comes the brand new heavy tanks for the tans! Oh lord. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, we know the AA guns work. <laughs> god damn. Those heavy tanks being attacked by lots of bazooka men trying to ambush them. Here comes the tans. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. God, this is gonna be one hell of a battle here. Keep firing those main guns, boys. Oh my god. Okay, maybe, maybe we can bring it down to one speed. Our bottles flying off in the air. Ten soldiers now attempting to punch through. Oh my god, that AA gun actually ripping in to uh, the ground forces there. Good old boys over here trying to hold off, mailman included. Oh my god. We got Tan Half Tracks now joining the fray here. The battle raging on here. The Greens are actually doing a very good job at keeping the 
hands at bay. This is a deadly choke point for the Tans. Like all things, man, the Tans are just gonna keep coming in. Oh my god. Greens are actually doing a really good job here, if you ask me. Yeah, but more and more Tans are coming in. So, if you haven't noticed, we do have a new Tan soldier, the leader are the strong and durable heavy plastic boys of the Tan Army. They're pure plastic. It's, it's quite interesting. My god, man. Those tanks are not invincible. Some of the Tan tanks have been taken out. But where the real battle is going to begin is obviously the manpower of the Tans here. Jesus. Oh my god. It's just a brawl between the tanks. Jeez. Tans are starting to actually push in. We still have a lot of oh Jesus men trying to hold off this monstrosity of a battle. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh no, now we're getting the Tan artillery! Oh Jesus. Yep, we're getting Tan Artillery now to join the fray here. They're spawning off the map to fire in. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that tank that was trying to back up did not survive that. No, it did not. Oh my god. Yep. The greens are falling back here. Captain Bla uh, uh, Yeah, I think that's Captain Blade. He's telling all the greens, fall back, fall back. We did what we could. You're fighting numbers way above your own. There we go. It's probably best to fall back. Oh my god. Greens are falling back. Good, because there are still a lot of greens ready to fight the ambush of the tans. As more and more tan men continue to push in. Jesus. Yep, the tans are definitely pushing in. Now comes the inner battle. Between the, the greens and the tans. Tans are already trying to push in through here. That is a dangerous game they are playing. Jesus. Here, let me uh, let me put it back on slow-mo for a second here. Man, soldiers here, oh boy. Trying to hold it off. We do have one actually light tank. Ooh, he's gotta be careful here. He can be taken out. <laughs> Jesus. Trying to get the light tank unstuck. That enemy half-track here. Well, he knows that they're there. Zuka boy. Derp running. He completely missed. 
Good shot. Good shot indeed. Oh, you're gonna get killed. If you don't reload that. Or maybe not. You might be saved by another bazooka man. I don't think that half track is in any control of what it's doing. No, it was not. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no! The light tank was taken out by something. It means all fighting around here. They're much more rapidy fire guns. Hands are having one hell of a pro uh, trouble trying to punch through. Oh my god, of course, yeah, you can just let the tank snipe. If they capture those stairs, these greens are trapped. Yeah, I can already see some greens. They're like, crap, we gotta capture that. I mean, the damage is done. They've taken out a lot of men. They tried their best to hold off, but, like, what can you do against an army so, you know... Oh, Jesus. Pan's still trying to push in. I don't know, man. It's not going well for the Tans, but they are pushing in. I noticed our heroes are up there already. We, we need to get the greens up there as well. My god, man. Yeah, you can see some of the greens already ascending the hill. Trying to provide cover fire. Yeah, the Tans are already pushing in. Look at all the greens on the stairs trying to like shoot back down. Yeah, the tanks are starting to open fire on them. Look at that. Look at that. You can see the entire battlefield all the way up here. You can just see the tanks coming in and coming in. The greens are trying to hold the stairs. That's hilarious. They're using these extremely high heights as an advantage to shoot downwards. Because that doesn't stop the tanks from shooting at us. There's um, Blade, Captain Blade, the last of his men, our heroes, Hoover Axe, and the Mailman, trying to hold them off. Yeah. Imagine being Captain Blade here, just seeing, like, there's nothing you can do. Imagine being Captain Blade here, and there's, like, you see there's nothing you can do. It looks like the Greens are trying to, like, set up, a, they're abandoning this side, and are trying to now hold off over here. But, like, you can see the Tans coming in. It's... Like, you can see them shifting. It's kind of done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was an epic battle of quite epic proportions. Greens will have to regroup, probably up the stairs in the lobby. We'll have to guard now the front door. I don't know if the Tans are willing to climb up this and then try to fight when like literally a, a hundred men over here can hold off thousands and tanks cannot traverse that very well so yeah GG for the tans but it was a costly victory but they do have 10,000 soldiers so like this is a drop in the bucket comparably
my god, man. Yeah, the tans are pushing in. Oh boy. Oof. Oh. They're even up there now. I'm gonna put it on normal speed here. Still very laggy. Let's keep it half speed. Last of the greens. They're all trying to hold the bottom of the stairs. Mad respect to these soldiers. They knew this was the end. They still kept fighting. Last little green soldiers trying to hold off. Ooh, oh, ooh. Yeah, that's the end. My god, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this battle. I sure did. Uh, the Tans have a lot of repairing, fixing. They're gonna have to melt out a lot of plastic in this, but they are victorious in the end. The Greens have retreated back up the, the uh, stairs there. Maybe a good hundred of them. So, uh, we will see. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Um, this series is going really well. I'm really proud of it. We will definitely see probably the Battle of the Front Yard. Wow, I've never seen a burning E100. Um, anyway, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care.